it has been a week when the reputation of Britain's railways has taken a battering. Went to collect a train, I think it was 41 minutes late. When customers of Northern felt abandoned and enraged. We've had recrimination and apologies. I completely understand that passengers are angry at the level of disruption this timetable change has caused in recent weeks. And that is why, of course, Mr Speaker, there has to be a special compensation scheme for passengers on affected routes on both GTR and Northern. What caused all this was a complex blend of changes to the timetable, late running engineering works and delayed upgrades, a pattern of problems. Today, the chair of the Transport Select Committee told me the rail industry was losing the public's confidence. The public don't trust the train operators uh, to be on their side and to be focused uh, on them. Um, and I think probably that lack of trust is, is true uh, amongst many people within uh, you know, looking at the industry. The train system in this country is complex. Let's start with Network Rail, uh, who own the stations and the track, the platforms, and who set the timetable. That is publicly owned. But then there are private companies who own the trains and the carriages. And they, in turn, lease them to operating companies, people like Arriva, Virgin and Northern, who then run our services. And above it all is the government. So when things go wrong, it can be quite hard to work out who's to blame. Behind the scenes, operating companies often blame Network Rail and vice versa. Among customers, Northern has shouldered most of the blame. But is that fair? Well, they're right to be angry about the service, but of all the people who have contributed to uh, this shambles on the railway, the train operators are the least to blame. They didn't design the timetable. It wasn't the, the delays that have happened were not their fault, were not within their control. They're the least to blame. In theory, running trains is simple. In practice, it's fearsomely complicated, beset by problems and now bedeviled by a blame game over the growing public anger. Adam Parsons, Sky News.